Hi everyone, my name is Pazzi, and as of today I've officially played over a thousand hours of Baldur's Gate 3, and instead of going outside to touch grass like I probably should, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk way too fast about my favorite class in the game. So here are my top 5 reasons why I think your next character should be a monk. Reason number 1 is the monk attacks. With an attack action and a bonus action using Flurry of Blows, a monk is coming out of the gate hitting their enemy three times, and by level 5 we can bump that up to 4. And that's without any multi-classing or additional feats, which yeah, can make for a super fun monk build, but are also not necessary when you have Stunning Strike, making it possible to incapacitate your foe and stop them from taking an action during their turn, so we can start that beat down all over again. Here's a shot of my monk stunning a dragon, because they can. Reason number 2 is a monk's use of dexterity. Unarmed attacks and monk weapons use dexterity instead of strength, which means not only can you slap people around like a boss, but you can also pick locks like a boss, and sneak like a boss. And by boss, I mean our favorite rogue. I know. Wasn't it impressive? And if your monk isn't holding any weapon, it means they can't be disarmed, unless an enemy literally takes their arms, which would be pointless anyways because they can do plenty with their feet. Yeah! Reason number three, unarmored defense. Monks don't need armor. In fact, you shouldn't use armor on your monk, because with unarmored defense, a monk adds not only their dex, but also their wisdom modifier to their AC, which makes them practically unhittable. All while wearing these cute outfits. I mean, really, monks' bodies are their temples, and also temples are their temples. <clears throat> so even without armor, monks are indomitable fortresses of physical and mental resilience, making them resistant to falling damage at level 4, resistant to being charmed or frightened at level 7, immune to poison and disease at level 10, and at that point, do we even need to talk about the other levels? Because I seriously don't know how we could improve on that. Until it was perfect. Reason number 4 is key points. Ki is a type of life force energy that only monks are tapped into, and on top of those hard-hitting attacks I mentioned earlier, it gives them helpful moves like Patient Defense, which makes enemies roll with disadvantage, and Step of the Wind, which is basically just the zoomies. Plus, because monks use Ki instead of spell slots like magic users, it doesn't matter if an enemy tries to cast silence on them, because you can't silence the living energy of the earth. But it is true that even a monk will run out of key points eventually, unless you have Wholeness of Body, the Way of the Open Hand level 6 subclass action, which lets you regenerate half your key points and partially heal yourself mid-fight, so you can keep standing on business, no rest needed. Speaking of subclasses, if Way of the Four Elements is like the Sorcerer of Monks and Way of Shadows is like the Rogue of Monks, then Open Hand is like the Monk of all Monks. No other class or subclass lets you bonk someone so hard with a resonating punch that vibrates until our monk snaps their fingers, creating an area of effect explosion that rings out from the depths of the enemy's soul, taking out all foes in the vicinity. And reason 5 is the dialogue options, which doesn't apply to D&D players, but maybe this will spark some roleplay ideas for your next campaign. Because monks in Baldur's Gate 3 are literally the coolest. Most of the time a monk's dialogue options are about harmony, enlightenment, and balance. But these stoics aren't always about keeping the peace. Monks also have the option to threaten hippies, and brag about drinking poison. And there is something just so satisfying about rocking someone with a punch that knocks them into the next 10 day, and then offering your buddy a cup of tea. But what do you think? Is there another reason why monks are the best? Tell me why I'm right in the comments. Oh, terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. And if you want to know more about the monk from the clips in this video, that's my original character, Nyx, and you can check out their full voice playthrough over on my channel. Oh, and like and subscribe, please. Okay, thanks, bye. Go on, then. Fat bird's yours.